we're going to go and try and silage up this um, rye grass down the bottom of the farm. There's going to be a lot of bales. There's going to be a lot of bales there. Got to get machines sorted out. Everything's got to get fueled, oils checked. Uh, fuel and add glue in most of the tractors. Ch uh, farmer's out spraying, so Charlie's going to whip the Bowser over to him. Linda's got hay to do. Linda's already been around the cattle. Uh, the old man's on holiday again, living the dream. Uh, Keithy's going to go round bailing. We're going to go on the wrapper, and we should be able to get you some uh, nice pictures of it all going on as well. We've got to get all the machines on. The rake's got to go on. The tether's got to come off. Yeah, quite a bit to do before we get started and got to make sure we've got enough wrap and net and everything else like that. We're not a million miles away from the farm, so if anything goes wrong, we're, uh, we're pretty close by anyway. I thought that straw was too good to sit in that shed. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? I don't think that's going to come off, Keithy. I've got a feeling that's going to stay on there. Do you reckon? <laughs> Loading up Linda some hay. We can see right through the shed now. Getting down. It's usually, uh, this is about right to the time of year, you know, with what's left. And uh, Linda always starts panicking, actually. <laughs> she thinks she's going to run out, but we always end up making some before she runs out, usually. Keithy's just blowing off the uh, the baler there with the compressor. We're gonna un unhook the tether, and then we're gonna hook the uh, the rower on. We'll get the rower set up. We can uh, we're on some nice flat ground, so we can bring the rotors down a little bit. Make sure we clear up everything. Charlie's gonna be using this tractor with the rake. Uh, we're gonna be doing some wrapping. Everything's got to come off, and that one's got to go on. We like this rake, chrome rake. Nice, it's a nice rake. Does a nice job. Simple to set up on this one. Individual spools to lift each individual arm. Try and put them on the, the same side as the spools inside. And then this one here, that adjusts your width. You can go from 6.8 meters all the way out to 7.6. Uh, 7.6 is what you'd have for something like um, you know, a big square baler. Uh, seven point, usually for a round baler, I usually run it at 7.4. But uh, Charlie will set it up. It depends on the crop size and all the rest of it. So she might be fiddling about with that to uh, get herself somewhere close so yeah I'm just gonna adjust the uh, height that the rakes scoop up at and um, it'll be uh, good to go nothing needs to be greased it's only had half a day on it so uh, yeah until they've done a couple of days then we re-grease it you got to uh, change your height of your tines by field by field the last fields we were at were quite rough so they were uh, up a little bit but uh, the, obviously the tighter down to the ground you have them, the more you'll clean up and the better job it will do. But if you're on rough ground, you'll set rattle clutches off and stuff like that. So you have to change it by field by field. These ones are lovely and level because we, uh, we power powered them and they're nice. So we can uh, bring her down a bit. So these gate it's got special gauges up here. But these, you'll see, they're set about level at the minute, but the gauges are telling you different things. So we don't really take too much notice to those. We're just going to, Wind it down a little bit. Doesn't need to be touching the floor, just wants to be about a tiny bit more. Half a finger's width off the floor. In between my knuckle and my thing. So set the other side the same. She won't be too bad with that. If she starts setting the rattle clutches off, she'll wind that handle up a little bit. If you have it too tight to the ground as well, you start scuffing in moss and uh, you'll get the, well, if you've got moss or a soil and you don't really want soil in your grass, that's not very good. Hey, you're going to have to load her up good today, hey? Two sides. Exact bales, how many? Exact. 6.50. 6 6.50, Christ. I hope you're right. Farmer's going to just give Keithy a quick refresher on the baler and then Keithy's going to be doing the baling. Farmer's back with his spray, he's got a ton more spraying to do. Christ, he's been busy on that. He, he went off at like, he went off at four o'clock in the morning, the other, uh, yesterday morning, didn't get home till gone ten o'clock. He's, he he's had some really long days on that. 
got the uh, the net figured out on the baler. Keith is blowing it off. Got some oil in there. Got a net on there. Got some spare net. We're not a million miles away from home if we need it. Farmer reckons 600 bales. Keithy reckons 650. Charlie's at 732. I'm at 500. I'm gonna say uh, right. This is me official guess. Six. Okay, I'll go between Keithy and, uh, and Farmer. I'll go 625. There we go. So, we uh, check what we got on the box at the moment. I don't need to rush down there because uh, Charlie's got to do a row and I'll be in the way. So, 231 on the box at the moment. If we won't get it all done today, I'm pretty sure there'll be too much. Uh, let me put in my notes. Yep, I've got that written down. So. Yeah, we're going to get cracking. I'm going to set up some time lapses and stuff like that for you. I've got to pick my lunch up. Way to start, Keithy's on the baler. He's, uh, farmer's given him a quick lesson. We're on the wrapper. Charlie's rowing up. She's going to go three times round. She might even go four, depending on how much room she wants. She's got to be very careful. You see, there's going to be bales everywhere. So I am trying my best to get them out of the way as quickly as possible for her. And uh, I will drop them all as close as I can to the bush without sticking my arm in there. And that just keeps them out of their way. First one's always tricky because you've got to turn them. But after that, it's pro, uh, it's, yeah, it's easy peasy. Just have one shear bolt go already. Uh, I'll come around for that one in a minute. But um, we'll get the headlands cleared up, let Charlie do half the field, then I'll, uh, I'll stop and get the drone out and we'll get some nice pictures quickly. Whoa, 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 do not flip over, don't. That's interesting, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, we're going to get ourselves in a jam here if we're unlucky. Dump that one off the back. Oh, I might have made a rookie error there. I'm just going to move it out the way and have another go at it. Every time I put camera on, I find myself in a jam. Right. Corner ones are always the most tricky. Oh, we're cooking. That'll swing around now. Bit of finesse to it, but once you've got the knack to it, it's not too bad. It's uh, once you've been in a few jams. You, uh, you can get yourself out of it, if you know what I mean. Keep the arm down. But uh, yeah, it's all going pretty swimming. There's gonna be some bales out here. I don't know if we're doing both fields today. I imagine we probably will. Collins won't be ready today, his will be ready. Um, his will take a few more, which is the field in front of us there. His will take a little bit of, uh, he's got to dry his down a little bit more, yeah. When you're on the uh, ups and downs, you can drop the bales wherever. That's, in, that, that's not worked. This is what happens when you're not concentrating, Matthew. That will spin out, grab her like that. Tip one off. Both know the 
Put your hair out in the wind Put the pedal to the floor Flame your light and take a smoke Put your broken rip off Wafer is on Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down Doesn't matter if the sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the lights are finished bailing, bailed it all up, so uh, I'm stuck out here until we're ready to go. Just trying to make sure I get these on. We sort of need two hands at all times on this job, it's um, tricky. But yeah, sun's going down, quite a nice sunset out there. I'm happy to be out here to be fair, I'm going to get it done. It's half, uh, no it's quarter to nine now, oh yeah. It's going to be half nine, this is what we've got left. Just this top end of the field. Not quite so many in here. I think Keithy said just shy of 500. I'll let you know at the end. But uh, yeah, just gonna get these finished off. I'm just about to, uh, uh, I know the wrap's gonna run out again in a minute. I didn't quite have enough, so Keithy just dropped me two more. Um, yeah, I know two more won't quite do it. But uh, Keithy dropped me a couple more, so we'll just have enough. That would have been annoying. If I just, uh, if I hadn't got quite enough, gets to this end of the day and you're a bit tired and you start pressing the wrong buttons we're not too bad but one or two mistakes starting to appear look at that sunset that what do you think of that we're doing well we're gonna um, we would have wrapped i think keithy said 497 i'll, I'll put it in the edit but um, yeah they're all going to be wrapped and they're all going to be uh i imagine tomorrow i'll start picking them up but uh, like I said before, if you leave these out for a day, you think, oh, they'll be fine, I'll wrap them tomorrow. But um, yeah, they go strange. They go soft and they just, uh, they don't wrap as well. You sort of have to slow the wrapper right down to try and wrap them, right pain. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. Not as many as we all thought though. We were all 600 plus, every, all of us. But uh, Keith, you were saying the um, the, uh, the the baler is that it's uh, is on um, is very very tight, and they've put them up a size as well. So, uh, but I think Farmer said that's still ten to the acre, which is pretty good, as you probably all know anyway. But uh, yeah, just gonna get these last ones wrapped up. That's a nice sight, isn't it? Oh, I might just uh, I might just get out and have five minutes in a minute. Chuck him off. 
you can have one ready to go all the time on here that's the key to the job always have that bed moving and uh yeah it's just uh that speeds the job up no end doing it with one hand does not help i need to get that going I need to be around here I need to be close to these bales otherwise they won't go in the jaws Lift her up, take her to the next one. I sort of just make my way across the field. That's what you can see out the front. And then make my way back, make my way back again. I have to change the reels in a minute, but yeah, there you go, there's the sunset. We'll come back right at the end and I'll tell you exactly how many there were. We're nearly there, we're on the last two bales. 493. It'd be nice to make the 500, but uh, doesn't matter. Average about is on average it's, it's just about uh, ten to the acre, I think, on that one. But they're good bales, good size as well, and nice and dense as well. So they're going to make some real nice silage. Quality is just perfect. It's just what we wanted, and it's all in. It's all wrapped. Tomorrow all we got to do is focus on getting them off the field. We want to get them off field quite quickly because we want to get back on here with fertilizer. Going to get another cut off this, so. Yeah, just chuck him off. God, I'm ready to go home. It's uh, 20 to 10 now. And I am ready to go home. This is quite a, um, you know, quite a high concentration job, this one. It's not like you sat on the GPS on this one. You, uh, you've got to pay attention. Just uh Just had enough, enough wrap. Keithy bought me two out. I wouldn't have needed them, but God, it would have been close and I would have been twitching a bit. But uh, yeah, 185 for this one, 307 for the other one. Uh, not too bad, really. Uh, yeah, good amount of bales. You know, that, um, that won't, that'll be uh, feeding the cows next year. And there'll be more to be made on here later on in the year, hopefully. Chuck him off, get going, my friend. There's uh, 20 rolls of wrap I used in total. Anyway, we'll catch up tomorrow when we're uh, when we're back. Uh, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> the next day, finished up last night, got home about, God, I think it was quarter past 10 by the time we got home. Uh, but finished baling, uh, finished wrapping about, I don't know, quarter to 10, something like that. But it wasn't too bad. 493 was the total, but they're, uh, yeah, good bales. A little bit bigger than usual so we were quite pleased with that i think it worked out 10 bales to the acre so we were quite happy with that and uh yeah we're just uh we're actually wrapping up some of cole's bales for him uncle frank is on the right cole's on the baler i think keithy and charlie are uh, gonna start loading bales out the field farmer spraying again but um yeah looks like cole's gonna have a good good few bales out here as well we're on the 90 this time the uh, combine doctor came and fixed the uh, aircon the other day, so the aircon's working beautiful, which is good. Right, see so if I can do this with one hand. These are the trickiest ones. Go on, turn your okay. That's the one. Little things. You can do little things if you're in a jam. These are the ones closest to the hedge have to be turned. But after that, you can get on them uh, square on then. Cole's on the baler. Load the baler off and uh, sort it out. <laughs> yeah, looks like there's going to be a few bales to pick up. Right, we're back in the yard. <coughs> I've had two full days on this wrapper and I've had enough. <laughs> I don't want to do any more wrapping. I just want one day of doing something else. Oh my God, my back is killing me. But we got it done. Cole's got, uh, he got one field here done, he got his field up by his house done, and a couple of others, so uh, yeah. I uh, don't know what he did, I think it's just over 300, something like that, so that's about 850 <laughs> for, the, uh, for the two days. Not bad, really. We're a little bit earlier tonight, we're, uh, we're only quarter to seven, so yeah. I can see the guys down there loading bales, going to see if they want a hand or if they're coming up. Um, but uh, tomorrow we should be on bales, loading bales, 
Uh, so we're a bit different, hopefully.